We need to install new points. We're going to put one right here, one there, one here, one here. That's our new point. And I'm going to show you how to put these in place. It's a really simple, straightforward process. And the reason you use points is because it helps to secure the glass along with the uh, glazing compound. Okay, so I've got my point in position. Let's set my tool on top of it. And actually, you use the tool to push it into place. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm pushing that point right into place there. There we go. That's it. Okay, so I've got my point set in all four sides. And that's what you want to do. Okay, now it's time to put our glazing compound in. Okay, so here's the thing about glazing, all right? You want it to be warm. You don't want to keep it someplace where it has an opportunity to get really cold because the warmer the glazing compound is, the easier it will be to lay down. It'll finish really nicely if you have a warm glazing compound. So what you want to do is you want to take the... Um, the glazing compound, you want to roll it out. You want it to be pretty consistent in terms of diameter, okay? And you want to take that rope and you really want to force it in, okay? Really force it, push it up against it, really force, force it with your thumb. What you really want to do is you want to repeat the process on the three remaining sides. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to take my putty knife, start in that corner there, Okay, and then I take my two fingers and I put it on the back of the blade and I push down. This is a technique that I use that have, it has really served me. So you put your two fingers behind that blade, push down, and then draw the knife toward you. Now, if you notice, there's a little excess there that I need to clean up, so I just knock that away a little bit. Just knock it away, clean up that excess. Okay, so this is the last one. Two fingers behind the blade, push down, and then just draw it toward you. That's it. Now, you know, you may want to clean up the corners a little bit. I'll start in the corner like that at an angle, and I'm just going to clean it up just a little bit. So I've got this one pane. I, I just want to clean this up a little bit. I'm just going to run it one more time to the corner and get a nice clean look. That's it. And folks, that's it. That's how a glazed window should look.